what's up guys welcome back to run my crypto hopefully you guys are doing extremely well today pleasure to have you guys back on the channel so what i really want to cover is uh some of the market news uh some of the bitcoin having then obviously touch on jasmine uh for all you holders out there make sure you guys feel confident in holding that jasmine coin so make sure you guys watch this video all the way through to the end guys make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and finally this is not financial advice just some education to help you guys understand what's going on with crypto and what's going on with your jazzy investment all right guys let's get into it so first things first i want to jump into uh helping you guys understand what's going on with bitcoin and the bitcoin having because this is very much um one of the biggest uh, catalysts for cryptocurrency and for any of project any of the projects you guys are invested in bitcoin having is basically the key player for you to make some profits in any other cryptocurrency investments that there are it doesn't matter how big the project you're in you could be in one of the best growing biggest projects there is and if bitcoin don't do nothing none of these projects are going to do anything so let's jump into some bitcoin news so if you're a bitcoin enthusiast i urge you to head over or actually keep yahoo finance on one of your tabs because you can get a lot of great information about cryptocurrency bitcoin and other um other information about uh, finance behind cryptocurrency and economic world information. So uh, Yahoo Finance is like one of the best go to sites. So you could find out everything about Bitcoin. And then, you know, also knowing what uh, is going on around the world uh, with Bitcoin. So if uh, you're wondering how to get uh, good information, solid information, Yahoo Finance is one of the best places to look. So basically you can see that Bitcoin is doing um, a lot around the world, which is great because we want a global adoption for Bitcoin because like I said, without Bitcoin performing, we don't have no cryptocurrency uh, return on investment uh, opportunities without Bitcoin doing its thing. So Yahoo Finance is the place to go. So uh, one thing I really wanted to look at is, you know, the performance of Bitcoin and see how Bitcoin is doing. So looks like Bitcoin floats above 43,000 um, as by the dip sentiment prevails. So I guess what they're kind of uh, looking at is uh, seeing some some dips prior to the uh, the bull run. But here here's the the focus, guys, is that we obviously know that uh, there will be dips in cryptocurrency, um, and these are the best times to buy because I believe we're in an accumulation zone when it comes to uh, cryptocurrency and the bitcoin having if you guys come to this uh it's a caleb and brown article um it basically touches on the bitcoin's market cycle and how it essentially works um so one of the interesting things to know is that you know what phase are we in <clears throat> with uh the bitcoin cycle um i believe that we're really in the uh, accumulation zone um let's read on the accumulation zone so <clears throat> excuse me essentially this occurs when prices are low, but small signs of growth appear. And that's obviously what we've been seeing, um, not only in Bitcoin, but some of the other uh, cryptocurrency projects that um, are doing well. We've seen uh, some big gains in uh, coins like uh, pretty much across the board. We had a lot of a big jump of uh, of increases with uh, cryptocurrency. And so uh, during this phase, buyers will accumulate cheaper Bitcoin. And so <clears throat> it represents the point of uh, maximal financial opportunity typically there is a bear sentiment in the market so volume is low and prices are fluctuating in a tight range near the bottom and that's kind of what we've been seeing right we've been seeing uh we saw a big pump then we see you know the coins really just uh floating within the areas uh you know plus or minus uh 10 10 to 15 percent so we're seeing you know pumps of 15 percent and then pullbacks about you know anywhere from six to ten percent so that's kind of what we've been seeing for the last you know month going through january uh and now into february um so then after that we have a continuation <clears throat> where the prices uh continue moving towards the all-time high uh a having event has historical historically occurred uh coinciding with uh shrinking exchange reserves as buyers hoover up supply and look to capture rising prices uh in anticipation of new all-time highs so that's what i think uh, we'll start to see next is that we'll start you know pretty soon <clears throat> we have the halving in april um so make sure you guys mark that on your calendar if you don't already uh just make sure that you know that the halving is coming in april um and then you know what do you do you prepare for parabolic 
right? So we have an expectation of once the Bitcoin halving starts to occur, we're going to see prices continue to to go up. Um, and I think, you know, in my mind, um, you know, prices will start to go up, pull back a little, but continuously start going up and we'll see. Um, it'll basically start to reveal, you know, the potential behind the projects that we're invested in and we'll see the growth. And you kind of, you know, this is where it gets, you know, real tricky where you need to go in there and really understand which projects are hitting and when they're hitting, you know, so you have to watch Bitcoin, see how it performs. Then you'll start to watch <clears throat> Ethereum and see how Ethereum is performing. And then you go into uh, obviously the altcoins and then your micro caps and mean coins. So I believe there's going to be signs and signals of how uh, projects are moving. And I think that's really important for you to grasp because it's going to give you an opportunity to be able to jump from other projects as they're hitting, you know, so you can start moving your money around and basically setting yourself up to maximize a uh, big return on investments in this next bull run. Then we have the uh, correction. So the correction is when we'll start to see drawdowns about 80%. Um, and then you'll know we'll head into that bear market. So hopefully you guys can see this chart, but uh, this is uh, one of the charts that uh, go over Bitcoin historically. So you'll see um, this color right here is like the purple color that represents the accumulation areas and then you see the green growth and then the bubble which is the parabolic and then uh, red obviously is your crash or your pullback so uh, looking at where we're at now 2023 was basically the main um, 365 days of accumulation and we're already going into I think roughly about because you got 2022 was accumulation and then you know the whole 2023 so I think we're going in about 600 600 days or so of accumulation so we will really really soon start to see uh the go growth trend and if we look at the growth trend you know 2012 2013 and then boom parabolic into 2014 then obviously 2014 to 15 we've seen a big uh pullback or bear market or crash however you want to identify it and then we see more accumulation zone uh in 2015 through 2016 and fast forward into 20 2018 uh, to 2019 we've seen a huge bear market and then a, a huge accumulation then we've seen some growth and then obviously 2020 and 2021 we've seen a parabolic uh, move for Bitcoin and then you know this year we're already getting ready to hit that uh, Bitcoin having time so it is going to be very close to starting to see some major pumps in the cryptocurrency market so this video was really intended for you guys to understand are you guys ready for this growth period so i believe it's going to happen real soon i think uh hopefully in the next couple months we'll start to see some some nice jumps in some of the projects we've been invested in in all of 2023 um 2022 guys it was a, a really rough year for cryptocurrency but now it looks like we're on the verge of having everything turn in our favor all right so lastly just to you know you guys need to make sure you understand what's going on with uh, bitcoin and the having and understanding that that's going to be a big catalyst for jasmine coin as our you know we are invested in jasmine coin as a project so you know some some cryptocurrencies are <clears throat> making bigger moves than other but um if you really notice that the supply of jasmine is really almost uh pretty much consumed which is going to be beneficial going into uh, the bull run because you know we'll start to see some gains coming out of jasmine then people are going to start to sell and you know make some money some that are really into jasmine but not fully into jasmine some that got in didn't want to uh move their positions but they'll see profits you know i believe we'll see that one cent area for jasmine to come in and then a lot of people are going to actually take profits on that because you know they don't see the full potential that jasmine is going to do and that's what's going to happen more coins are going to become available and then we'll see a demand for jasmine and we'll start to see the prices go up as the bull run starts to uh, proceed and then we'll get some big gains coming out of jasmine and then again you'll see a, a wash rinse and repeat type cycle from from jasmine as you know the the bull run goes on and we see parabolic numbers come out um, so I'm very bullish on Jasmine, which many people should be because there's a lot going on with the project. Uh, so speaking of that, let's touch on some of the projects. So many of you guys should know already that Jasmine has uh, really put a lot of effort into uh, producing a 
a solid coin. So we haven't seen a lot of, uh, you know, the, the, I guess the activity through Jasmine, but we have seen a lot of holders jump into Jasmine. It's, it's, it's starting to, to grow. Uh, but you know, Jasmine's came out with basically their, you know, uh, a sense of their roadmap to what they're doing. That's going to be successful for the project. And if you really believe in cryptocurrency, you'll start to understand what they're doing, um, is basically, you know, building a business where they could come in and, uh, you know, assist with, uh, deep in, um, to basically put the company, uh, to go in and be able to work alongside big infrastructures, uh, big businesses, and basically their PC uh, and their software uh, combined is going to be able to uh, start to move into uh, big businesses. And, you know, one of the smartest thing I, that I think Jasmine has been doing is basically putting themselves in uh, the position to where they're prepared to take on uh, the responsibility of Web3 decentralization by patenting uh you know most of their products most of their software most of their you know the way that they're gonna use their their data solutions uh systems and you know uh privacy and everything else is gonna be patent so that they already have the upper hand so what they're working on as far as their technology goes is already basically uh set in stone that it belongs to jasmine and other companies can it can come in and really fell with that so that's a smart move you know they've been focusing on how to basically you know what they're going to do to be successful in in web3 decentralization versus uh putting all the hype and the marketing out there for the coin uh, but they're already expanding you know they're looking at staking solutions already we have the jasmine chain um so there's a lot in the works uh, but once you know the, the thing that you know i think we're really missing out is that they're doing all the work behind the scenes they're preparing themselves because web3 is essentially not even out yet um you know it's barely in the the beginning stages uh so you have jasmine really focus in on you know preparing for web3 uh versus you know just pushing out um a bunch of uh you know information saying that oh we're gonna do this or we're gonna do that you know they're actually going out there panicking they got um a lot of uh you know partnerships that are really gonna start to uh, working once everything is in place so you know there's a lot going on for jasmine i think 2024 this year is going to be uh the year where we start to really see what jasmine's uh, ability is and we'll start to see what uh you know what they're finally starting to do as a cryptocurrency project so i think that's pretty huge in my mind for jasmine because um you know without them uh, doing all the legwork first you know and just that you know it's it's them preparing versus just going out there starting and uh you know having a lot of mistakes and it's going to put a bad uh bad mark on their name so yeah we know that people are frustrated that we don't see the full potential of jasmine but it's better to you know practice and train hard and know what's going on before you get out there 100 percent. so that's why i'll stay uh, super bullish on Jasmine going into the future of Web3 decentralization because, you know, they're building something that's bigger. Not to mention that, that their whole team, their whole senior leadership team is uh, built on a very successful company like Sony. So it's a lot of positive, <clears throat> a lot of positive in Jasmine. So all in all, as a Jasmine investor, I think it's really important to understand, obviously, uh, the timing of uh, Bitcoin and uh, how Bitcoin's performance is and then understanding, you know, when uh, the money will flow into Ethereum and then uh, pour into the altcoins. And then, you know, you have an understanding as, you know, what to expect uh, going forward through the, the bull run, you know, what big what the performance behind Bitcoin is doing, um, how high it goes. And then you when you see the drawback and then you see if Bitcoin did hit that, you know, 100,000 100, mark or the 150,000 mark or maybe even the 200,000 mark if Bitcoin did that um, as far as performance goes then you have an idea of what Ethereum is going to do and then you have an idea of what the altcoins are going to do you know one of the best practices is you know obviously it takes a lot of money uh, to get into Bitcoin and um, you know if you don't have that type of money obviously you would want to try to get it into Ethereum because um, honestly if Bitcoin does this huge huge move um, and it does go parabolic into 150 to 200 K per Bitcoin. Um, and then you have that drawback, you know, you want to try to put in as much money as you can into Ethereum because 
Ethereum's going to catch that wave on the way down. Um, and then you'll make some big money in Ethereum and then move it down into the altcoins. You know, obviously have your stage, your center stage already ready for the performance. You know, basically having, uh, you know, your bags packed and your, your investments in uh, in the altcoins, you know, obviously now. But, uh, you know, when uh, you could catch some big returns on Ethereum, um, obviously hold a few Ethereum, but then move uh, your money into some of the projects that you've been monitoring since the halving time um, and they've been doing really well, then you could, don't, you know, put the money into those uh, altcoins before they go parabolic, you know, before you get those huge massive runs. Um, and then, you know, take like maybe five grand, six, seven grand, find a meme coin or two and dump it into the meme coins and see if you could catch one of them huge waves. And then, you, you, you know, you could obviously make money, obviously starting from Ethereum, going down into the altcoins, and then obviously into those micro cap um, meme coin type projects, you know. So if you play your cards right, you understand, you watch, you could be extremely successful in cryptocurrency. So hope you guys like this one. Make sure you hit that button, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Put on those bell notifications so you can stay up to date with the cryptocurrency information. And, you know, any projects that I'm invested in, I try to get out there, talk about them at least, you know, just to... Uh, Make sure that you guys feel confident with what you're investing in. Jasmine is a great project to be invested in, in my opinion. All right. All right, guys, take care. Be blessed and have a have a good one. If you're in Southern California, you know, it's raining like crazy today. So stay dry, guys. Take care.